other throws has been physical changes to you improve base because you're that much farther removed from the hip surgery? Is there something physical which you feel is helping? Uh, I guess to that, I, I'd say I, I've been playing football, you know, since I was little. Um, I've been playing quarterback position for as long as I can remember. Uh, really, it's just coming out and working on your timing with the guys, you know, seeing the speed of, um, you know, players. You know, not everyone's really fast. Um, and I, I guess just coming out here and being able to practice and work on it, that's what's helped. I would say I'm very comfortable. Um, you know, I think uh, the biggest thing with my position, though, is you can never, you know, you can never get, you know, over overly confident in with the position that we're in. Uh, you know, you got to stay even keel with the ups and the downs. And for me, it's just, you know, continuing to to learn the offense, continuing to learn my guys up front, uh, the receivers, uh, you know, and really just working working towards what we what we want as a team. I think being able to get with the guys uh, throughout the off season has helped tremendously um, with the timing. But I, I think until you you're able to put the pads on, you know, come out and really work against you know an, an opposing team or guys on the opposite side of you, uh, you know, that's when I think those things uh, really come up and, and show. Well, it, it, it's, not, it's not necessarily me knowing all the time where he's going to be, but us really talking through it um, in the film room and then kind of getting an understanding when we're coming out here of what we've seen previously from the defense and what they've shown, and we work off of that. Well, for me, it's it's being able to see their alignment and their positioning. Um, you know, why do they align this way? And, you know, for me, it gives me an edge to know where to go with the ball a lot quicker, and it speeds up my process. Um, you know, but I, I think it's always good to nitpick the other side. Um, you know, we have, like, a veteran like J-Mac, being able to ask J-Mac some questions. Um, you know, and then also seeing how, how they disguise things. But, yeah. So beyond just comfort level, what, what would you point to as the area where you Well, you know, look, I, I think every, every day I'm trying to get better. I'm not, I'm not looking at the things that I do right, but more so the things I don't do right. Um, you know, and it'll keep coming back to that, you know, me just continuing to get better and, and continuing to work day by day. Yeah, uh, I mean, the guy's open. I'm, I'm going to throw it to him. You know, that, that's, that's what I could say uh, to that. Um, I, I would say it was, it's very, very much no different than, you know, my time I had at Alabama, you know, throwing deep balls. So. It's good, um, you know, being able to see what Albert's able to do. Um, you know, the coaching points he gives to the receivers when we have our, our group meetings. Um, I think it's really good to have uh, someone like him, his work ethic, his mindset um, to help, you know, not just the receivers, but also help us uh, within a quarterback room. Knowing where it's supposed to go and throwing a guy open. Um, I mean, I personally think, you know, they, those those two kind of fall fall hand in hand. Um, you know, you know where the guy's supposed to be. He has a guy right on him, you know, but you throw it to the spot, you know, and he has just that uh, inch of separation from the guy and he makes that catch. You know, I think that's what it means. Yeah, I think uh, all of us in the quarterback room have a lot of confidence with the guys we have right now. Um, so, yeah. You know, this is sort of out of left field, but with the Olympics going on, there's been a lot of attention on the pressure that athletes have on them, especially when they're on a major stage. Mm -hmm. 
Well, luckily for me, I'm <laughs> I'm not on social media too much, so you know I don't I don't see as much of what you know the talk is going around. Um, you know, but for me, it always comes down to my family. You know, being able to spend time with my family, um, you know, spend time with my dogs. So you know, Dallas Star Gotti, if you guys see this, Daddy loves you guys. Yeah, I've been able to find chemistry with the guys. Um, I think it'll just continually have to be uh, reps with, you know, a lot of the guys. But, you know, in the film room, we're all sitting down, we're all seeing the same thing, and we're all talking about the same thing. So, so that's what a veteran sounds like. One other quick thing. How much did you and Will work together on the field? In June, obviously, with the mandatory, were there any other days that you've thrown to him besides the mandatory minicamp in June? Um... Yeah, there, there's been a couple days, uh, you know, off season throughout the month of July, uh, where I've been able to get with Will, you know, a couple times uh, and throw with him. So, all right, thanks, guys. Well, I'm not as tall, so you know, I I got to get back in and try to maneuver my way throughout the pocket to see where guys are going to be. But for me, it's really spots on the field.